Greetings from sunny Florida and the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. I'm Justin Joyner with Beneteau. We're very excited to launch the new Grand Trawler 62 from Beneteau. It is the culmination of a lot of core competencies that Beneteau has. Uh, we've built over 1,300 trawlers in our Swift Trawler lineup, and now our new flagship, the 62, is a real next step in the evolution of cruisers looking to really get away from it all. A couple features about this boat that really stand out are, well, quite frankly, look at the size of this. It's just under 25 feet tall. Its length overall is 62 feet. It has a beam of 18 feet. And we carry that beam really far forward, as you'll see, really allows us to have a lot of interior volume. Uh, and the flybridge size, you'll see, is, is phenomenal. One of the reasons we're able to carry that beam so far forward is the full displacement hull that is below the waterline. What we've been able to do with that uh, also is push the range of this boat to over 1,100 nautical miles at nine knots. We know that trawler uh, buyers are really interested in getting away from it all, so having the, uh, the ability to cover long distances is uh, a key element in anyone's program when they're looking to buy one of these boats, so we've been able to really push that. But it doesn't just stop at nine knots. This boat has the capability, thanks to the MAN engines, of achieving over 20 knots. So why don't we step on board and take a look at some of the features. As we step on board the Grand Trawler 62, we enter what we love to call the Terrace to the Sea. It's a big entertainment platform, starting with your hydraulic swim platform that's capable of having a toy on the back, whether it's a wave runner, jet ski, or tender of upwards of 850 pounds. You've got great wide welcoming areas with this plexiglass structure because what we're trying to do is orient this space towards the water. If you're buying real estate here, it's all about the views. Part of that program is instead of having like our Swift trawlers, the conversational seating area from indoor to outdoor, we use this additional space to have seating facing outwards. It's very functional with a teak table that has a leaf if you're going to put additional people around this table. But it, it's also your first impression when you get on board this boat. A couple things that always stand out is just how well built everything is. Look at the size of the cleats. You've got capstans if you're looking to uh, have different mooring scenarios. These are great for a boat of this size to make sure your, your boat's secure. I love that you've got a place to put the extra dock lines after you've tied up to the dock to keep this area clean and neat. It's just a really wonderful spice to, uh, to spend time. Let's head on inside and look at the uh, wheelhouse area. As we move inside the wheelhouse area of the Grand Trawler 62, you'll see this great U-shaped seating area. It's the standard configuration on this boat. We have the optional oak wood. The standard would be a walnut finish. As we move inside, you'll also see that uh, we've got this great storage space here. You can get the optional opposed couch right here if you're looking for additional seating. There's a TV that will pop up from behind there. As we move forward on the port side, you see this great functional galley. First thing you notice is, is how much working space you have on the countertops. And then you'll notice that you've got these fiddles around the, the countertops. And the idea is when you're setting a meal together, you've got the ability to do it underway without things falling on the floor. These are what we, uh, we have in, in all our trawlers. They work. We've got great functional storage space for meal preparation, including refrigeration, freezer, four burner cooktop, microwave, and then this wonderful feature, the port side door. Not only does it create 
a functional way to get out on the port side of the boat when you're running it. But let's say you have uh, people helping you on board the boat entertain your guests. It's a great way for them to serve your, uh, your guests on board. Or if you're preparing your meals yourself, you've got a great quick exit out of the galley up onto the foredeck to, uh, to enjoy a sandwich. As we move outside the galley, a couple things I also want to show off to you here. One of the great things about having the dishware here is you're easily outside up on the flybridge with it to, uh, to set the table for the night. It's a great functional use of this space. As we transition up into the helm area, there's some great features on here you have to check out. Starting with the upgraded electronics package, that gives you the three 16-inch screens to put up all kinds of different uh, capabilities. We've got our Beneteau ship control system. You've got your chart plotter you're used to seeing. And then this new dock sense system on board the boat gives you upwards of five cameras and it's on it's just like on your luxury cars where you have the the different colors as you get close to things um, in, in your park control it's it's a, uh, a system that uh, will really help you not hit the dock these helm chairs are are some of the best stuff we've ever put on on our Beneteau products this has the optional second seat this is uh, this is my favorite spot though this is a great day lounge for when you're making the the crossings for hours and hours on end comfortable place to uh, to be the second mate and, uh, and and hang out and keep an eye on where you're going as we move down below I have to show you a few of these staterooms we'll start up forward at the VIP stateroom one of the great features of having this full displacement hull we were talking about earlier is our ability to carry the width of the boat so far forward and you really see that on display in this area being able to to put the bed port to starboard you've got great natural light through these big windows lots of storage Check this out. Because this is an exploration boat, you gotta have storage everywhere. Before we move aft, check out this VIP guest head. Separate shower. And the accent colors there are thanks to uh, a great Corian that you'll see throughout this boat. Moving aft, you've got a midship stateroom with two singles. Now there is a filler cushion that can be in that space if you're looking for a big, big bed area. I'm going to walk in there real quick just so you can see just how much overhead height space is in here and that's where you really start to see just how big this boat is because you have to treat even your guests in style they've got access to the head in here now this space ends up functioning as your day head because you've got easy access to it right down the stairs now as we move aft this is the reveal of the master stateroom big low bed lots of overhead height and it's full beam as you saw the side profile of this boat there's windows down the whole thing and it really provides lots of natural light so on the port side you've got a great 
makeup table or uh, desk to work from. Storage here. This is a hanging closet. Nice little feature of this closet is it's nice and deep so you can hang dresses in that space. Love these louvered uh, doors, really create a nice rich environment. As we move forward, I've got to show you this owner stateroom head. A lot of countertop space, mirrors everywhere. The finish is exceptional. In this master head area, we've got this large separate shower, and you're going to love this rain head. As we move outside, of the sleeping spaces, I have to show you the four deck here. This has got some great features for cruisers and guests. Starting with storage under here for fenders, dock lines, and this great sunshade that deploys very easily. It's not overthought. Couple poles, textiline, and then this space is really, really functional. You've got a couple different options for sitting and being comfortable. These lounge up, different settings for that. And then you've got the same setup further back, whether you want to be sitting here or laying down. This is just a really comfortable space. While I'm sitting here, I might as well show you how deep this locker is. So that's great for more fenders, storage, that's your control for your anchor windlass. And then under here, same depth is all your chain and road. Now that we've seen the foredeck area, we're going to move back aft and work our way up onto the flybridge. I want to show off the wide, secure side decks. You know, typically in trawler fashion, we have an asymmetrical layout where the starboard side is actually the wider deck. But the Grand Trawler actually has totally symmetrical side decks, both sides being just as wide as, as, as the other. Really shows off just the beaminess of this particular boat. Moving up through the stairway here, there's just an amazing reveal of this flybridge area. Starting at the rear of the flybridge area, We've got the optional crane. You might have remembered the hydraulic swim platform has the dinghy chocks to keep, uh, keep a tender back there. But for the longer trips, it's a more secure place to put a tender up here. Or you're just looking to have more toys. We could see motorcycles, scooters, mopeds being up here as well. This is an open space for you to do what you want to do on your Explorer boat. Now let's look at some of the entertaining areas and lounging areas here, starting with an additional U-shaped seating area. This boat's equipped with our Dolce 51 fabric. That's an upgraded fabric on our trawler lines. Really, really comfortable. This table, more leafs. Simple luxurious functionality there. Check out this wet bar. I just love how substantial it all feels. You've got that same Corian look. This has got a matte finish on it as opposed to the uh, the shinier surfaces down below. Great sink area, grill, and then as you're in this space you have a, a refrigerator, an ice maker, and trash storage. As we move away from the wet bar area to the Flybridge Helm Station. You've got two seats here for the captain and co-pilot. You'll see all the great controls up here. We've got the, the 16 inch screens up here as well. And then as we move to the port side, you've got additional seating for your guests all on the same level as the Helm Station. So everyone up here has great sight lines out. Moving further forward, 
We've got access to the lower helm station and the additional controls. Speaking of controls, let's go down to the engine room and check out what we're controlling. So as we make our way into the engine room, I've got to reveal how this access comes out of nowhere. And you're actually going to walk through the optional crew cabin space. We realize that many people are going to be owner operators of this boat, but it's really interesting to use this space as a day head. You've got everyone with wet bathing suits. You can go through here and you've got your own private head. And then lots of overhead height right into the engine room. Come on in. As we move into this massive engine room, we've got to show off a few things, starting with the Dometic air conditioning system. It's a chiller system that runs glycol throughout the boat, keeping salt water away from all the air conditioning compressors throughout the boat. It's a very efficient, clean system. As we move further forward, you've got the twin aluminum fuel tanks with analog sight lines for fuel gauges. Obviously, you've got fuel gauges up at the helm station, but it's always nice to have redundancy. 21.5 kW generator above the quick gyro. Quickly about the quick system, it's an air-cooled system, so it doesn't have any salt water running through it. We're, uh, we're very excited about having this on board the new Grand Trawler 62. And then as we move to this side, you've got a water separator for the generator. Really cool thing about this is when you're at an anchorage and you're running the generator, it funnels the cooling water from the generator down below the water line and the exhaust out the side of the boat. Keeps the boat from spitting and making all that noise all night long in the, in the anchorage. It's a really cool, subtle system that makes a difference. Over here, you'll see a lot of familiar Beneteau electronic systems, starting with the switches for the battery system. It's a 24 volt system on board this boat. And then you'll see inverters. You'll see the Scheiber control boxes to change from shore power to generator. Those of you that have owned Beneteau's for many years, all of this is very familiar systems to you. And it's an important thing to note for those going from the smaller boats to this big boat, very little learning curve. Thank you for joining us for this introductory walk through the new Grand Trawler 62. Your next viewing opportunity of the boat will be at the Miami Boat Show in February of this coming year. Until then, check us out on the website at Beneteau.com or visit one of your local dealers. They have a lot of information on this new wonderful boat. Thank you.